and you are watching the second part of Dodge This, my interview with Kevin Manthe, who is a video game and cartoon composer. Um, if you would like to see the first part, you can go ahead and click on any of this awesome hardware going on over here. Uh, but otherwise, we are just going to keep on talking about cool stuff. Let's talk. Let's talk! <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we were we were talking about uh, synthesizers versus uh, actual instruments and right. and uh, how great it is to be able to use be able to replicate those sounds with a synthesizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you prefer to work with actual instruments? Sure. I think any composer, you, you know, you, you've you've got these people that when you can afford it and when the budget allows, you have just amazing players that bring their own musicality to your music and it always sounds just you know 100 times better. Uh, the show Generator Rex that I work on, um, I do live bass and live guitar every week and I don't personally play it, I have a guitarist and a bass player so you know my temp, temp or the stuff that I give to him I have fake guitar that I've kind of played so I can figure <laughs> out what I'm writing and it sounds okay but like when I get the stuff back and then I give him notes I say hey let's do some cool effects here it's like all that stuff that you can explain to somebody, but you don't have the right sounds ever for that kind of stuff. And it comes back and you mix it and it just sounds way, way better. Like, I mean, more than a hundred times, a hundred percent better. Right. So it just, it makes something okay great. I, I have to ask about this uh, because I absolutely love Invader Zim. You did yeah. the music for Invader Zim, yeah? yeah? That is so cool. <laughs> really excited about that. Did, um, like they were talking about rebooting this series, would you want to do the music for it if they rebooted it? Or? Of course, yeah, that would be great. It, um, I was, yeah, we were talking about this a little bit before off air, and just the thing that is really like, that was like 10 years ago, you know, yeah. and it's, I've grown and I've changed, you know, and it's just be really interesting to come back to something, mm -hmm. and then also something that where there's just a lot of people that love it, and a lot of, there's just so much like, stuff swirling around it that you know <laughs> how would i approach the show now you right. know 10 years later would i feel like box would i feel like i'm almost having to copy another composer because in the sense it's like that was me 10 years ago it's not quite me now right. so what i feel like i'd have to copy myself would i have to go back and listen to everything i did and go okay I, oh how did i make that cool sound <laughs> you know so there's kind of like there's definitely some thought processes that would go on if you were to revisit that, but it would be a great challenge. Are you are you surprised like how rabid the fans are for some of these? Like you also did a the music for Sacrifice, the game, right? Right. Like yeah. that's another one that has like a really strange like underground group right. of people that are really excited yeah. about it. So. Well, I think that's really cool. I mean, I think that anytime some just average person's like like hears music and then that's maybe not pop music, and they're like, oh, I like that, I think that's cool. And then they actually um, take the time to like write an email to you. I think that's pretty amazing. And yeah, it, awesome. it, a lot of times it makes my day. It's like, wow, you know, people actually listen, mm -hmm. they appreciate it, and they w actually have are telling me that's, I mean, because I know it's like, I, I think a lot of things are cool, but I don't like sitting, you know, type emails that right. often. But it is nice to be, it is nice to have appreciation for what you do, definitely. Um, are you, is there a future project that you're excited about working on, or can you can you talk about a possible uh, future project? What am I working on? Well, I, I've got a couple game things kind of lined up. I'm going to be working on another um, another MMO with Cryptic. Oh, cool! Uh, based on the Neverwinter license, um, and I'm supposed to be working on the Generex, Generator Rex video game, which is coming up, and uh, keep doing the Nancy Drew games. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got our, we got our fingers in a lot of different pies, and we'll see what what surfaces in the next couple of months. But right now, it's just like I'm just grinding away at uh, the Generator Rex. It's like season three is coming up. It's like there's like maybe three weeks break between season two and three, and I'm wrapping up two right now. So that's gonna go full bore till like December. How long does it take you to do each episode? I get a week, and um, I generally I, I write pretty fast, and I have people that you know I work with you know, the guitarist and the bass player, which really helps save time. I have someone who comes in and helps with some mixing and a little bit of orchestrational stuff. So sometimes, um, so we definitely get it done within that week. And sometimes I've got, you know, I got a couple of days, depending on how hard I work and how less I procrastinate, I can have a couple of days, sometimes a week to work on other projects. So I want to do that so that my schedule is open for other projects and I want to be just tied to one. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, as a final question, what is your favorite color? 
<laughs> oh, well, that's actually, you know, actually I love the color. Um, I love the colors in my studio. I'm not trying to just say that, but um, this, I don't even know what you would call the color of my walls, but blue -gray. it's kind of a blue gray. I actually really like that color. Awesome. I've never heard that as, as an answer before, so that's I great. <laughs> I'm not gonna go just primary. I'm gonna give you a... a and we even have an example of it, like right behind you in the yeah. shot, so it's perfect. Thank you so much for talking to me and hanging out. This has been Dodge This. If you would like to see the first part, you can go ahead and click anywhere on here again. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>